Good day folks, welcome back to another time video. Um, recently posted a picture on Instagram and Facebook of the fly I like to call the beat down micro leech and um, had a lot of interest uh, in the fly and so I thought I would share the recipe. I've um, been fishing this one for a couple years and I've held it pretty close until now so we'll go ahead and share it with everybody. Um, super simple tie. Uh, I used to f to um, tie it on with a black nickel bead and um, or a bluish uh, kind of a gunmetal bead. Um, but Kent from Canadian Lama recently sent us some really cool new colors of the uh, tungsten half beads. And so as soon as I seen this blue and purple, I thought of this pattern immediately and. Uh, had to incorporate them and it does give it a really cool look so um, and obviously tungsten gonna help that uh, leech get down so we'll go ahead and tie this these are uh, the as you can see the blue and the purple um, I put the blue on first purple on second squeeze them together they'll lock into place and um, this is a size 12 uh, curved nymph hook and sorry, those are 3.2 millimeter or 1 8 size um, tungsten half beads. So I'm just going to get my thread started here, dress the hook. I'm using 70 denier Danville black thread. And I'll just go to about where the barb is there and get rid of my excess. And so it's basically a pretty simple dubbed leech. Uh, the color combo for me is I think what does it um, and for the fish as well. So what I've got is a Arizona synthetic dubbing in the black and blue um, and then I mix in just a little bit of purple ice dub and uh, <clears throat> gives a pretty neat look. So for the tail I have basically got kind of a chunk of it. Looks a little messy there but you want the chunk to be about the hook size-ish um, because I want the tail to be about half the length of the hook. So all I do is kind of get my tail roughly measured out here, pinch this thing in the middle with a few wraps and then just fold that over and squash that down if we can. Throw a couple wraps up underneath and that's about all there is to the tail if it looks a little too long just come in there kind of pinch it off to length but that looks pretty good just the way it is and uh, <clears throat> there it is so now there's a couple different ways to do this uh, next step you can simply take your dubbing blend and um, when I do the majority of the dubbing in the black and blue and just add like a highlight of the purple ice dub. So you can spin it onto the thread, bring it up, wrap it around and away you go. But um, if you're going to do that, tie in a rib first. So either black or blue or purple or something along those lines so you can kind of protect that dubbing. Um, it works when it's wrapped around thread. but it's not as durable uh, so you need something to kind of keep it in place and um, the <clears throat> wire rib will do that what I'm doing is I've got these dubbing brushes that I make up Rob made up a really neat little tool uh, I think he posted that on Facebook actually so it's pretty neat but these are pre-made dubbing brushes so I mix the dubbing and then twist it in between the wire and this makes tying these things super simple, super easy, and very durable. These leeches last me a long time when they're tied this way. And uh, so anytime I'm doing custom dubbing blends, this is the way I'll do it. Just makes it super, super easy. And your dubbing blends tend to be more consistent as well. So I've got one here. And uh, just going to come in right near the back. Grab a hold of this wire with some good tight wraps and then just advance my thread forward like so come in here I didn't go back far enough there just 
go back down here, tie this in a few more wraps back. That's better. <clears throat> and then just bring her down and start wrapping. <clears throat> Don't worry about how it looks for now. So that looks pretty good there. Get a firm grip on that there. Pull that and just nip it out of there. And try not to use your good scissors to do that with. You'll dull them pretty quick. But I think I got, yep, yeah, it's all tucked in behind the bead there. So come in with a whip finisher. I don't use any uh, glue or anything for this pattern. It's not really needed. So I just throw a couple whip finishes in, trim it out, and grab my little not-so-fancy dubbing brush and come in here, rough this baby up a little bit, just brush everything back. And if you want to, I think I've shown it in other patterns previously, but you can grab yourself a, a warm cup of water and uh, dip this fly in it. And you'll basically get the dubbing that you're using to kind of lose its straggly memory. And it'll flow back and you'll get a good idea of the nice little taper that these things have when they're wet but I'm not uh, not going to go through that. This is, I tie them, throw them in the box like this, and they're ready to fish. So that's the, uh, the beat down micro leech. Um, give, it a, give it a tie. I know that thing will catch a fish, and uh, this has been a wicked pattern for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one, cheers and tight lines.